Ladies and gentlemen, the world has a question that needs to be answered. Who makes the best glizzy, the best hot dog? I'm gonna be going to five different restaurants to see who makes the best hot dogs, and to help me with this, I need some of my friends. I need some glizzy gladiators. Let's find them. Who wants some glizzies? <laughs> You're a strange one, Mr. Jidel. You want some glizzies? I'm ready to gladiate. All right. Who else wants some glizzies? Ba, 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 ba. We have another one. Welcome I'm ready. Aboard. Welcome aboard. Assemble. I need one more. I need one more. Final one. Who wants some glizzies? Food video? Yes, sir. I'm in. Comedy is hop in the back. Let's get out of here. Woo. Welcome back on the you show, everybody. It is great to have you. Let me pass out our pamphlets. Here you go, Chris. You. One for you, James. One for you, Zach. Today we're going to five different restaurants. Those restaurants include Costco, Five Guys Burgers and Fries, Dog House, Burger King, and Wiener Schnitzel. You know, I didn't even know Burger King made Glizzies, but apparently they do. That's our first destination. There's a reason we don't know. We think so. The AC. The AC is on max. Crank the AC. The AC is on max. Crank the AC. I think he's broken. Yeah. <laughs> now, personally, I don't really ever order hot dogs, so who is your guys' early prediction? I'm not Ow. too Ow. first. Over here, Glizzy is a lifestyle. Love me some doghouse. And I think that's going to take it here, my early predictions. I've never had a hot dog from Costco. Never had a hot dog from, honestly, every single one of these besides doghouse. Uh, doghouse is definitely my early favorite, but I gotta say, I feel like hot dog is hard to mess up, so I think anyone Ow. can take it today. <laughs> the GoPros are attacking you back there. Bro, if this thing falls on me one more time. My early prediction, I gotta go with doghouse. Doghouse is always A1. I'm kind of scared of wiener schnitzel, bro. <laughs> Why are you Why? scared? They're called wiener schnitzel. <laughs> but like, dude, it just... Ow! <laughs> There's something about a cheap hot dog though that I find less disgusting than like a cheap burger. I don't know what it is. I'd rather have the cheap hot dog because yeah, most yeah, hot dogs hot are pre-cooked yeah, anyway. Most hot dogs are already cheap. So it's like, they're probably not Actually, going that skinny. Right. All right, we're arriving at our first destination. Dude, this dude's gonna be so weirded out. Like, can we get four glizzies? Well, don't say glizzies, first of all. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not. Yeah. I don't even see it on the menu. Do they take it off? Oh, no. Do your research? Like, you Dude, you I, I might only have like a corn dog, bro. Hello. Do you guys have hot dogs? Oh, you guys stopped serving hot dogs? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna just roll through then. Damn, I Googled it and they said they served hot dogs. Not and people serious. tweeted me. I always put out a tweet who has the best. People were spamming me Burger King. They don't even have them. Guys, there's Shake Shack Lizzie's. Oh, yeah, let's replace Burger King with Shake Shack. Here we are with the Costco hot dogs. It's a very long glizzy. They didn't ask me if I want to catch up or anything and there was nowhere to grab it. All right. You know, I like a snappy hot dog and this is not bad, but I think this is pretty good. Yeah, it's not snappy, but the meat, for me, it's on point. I feel bad that Costco is about to get a zero for condiments today because normally they have it on lock, bro. They got everything you could need. This That's is true. a solid glizzy. You guys enjoy the first bite, the middle bite. What's your favorite bite of the glizzy? To me, they're honestly My favorite all the is, same. Is the last, because usually the condiments get pushed back. Uh huh. Then that last bite is just you just pop it in with your finger like hump. Yeah. Okay. Presentation. This almost feels like I'm at a sporting event the way they present it to me. What? Kind of like that. Like in the. the I like thing. how they wrapped it. Yeah. Doesn't I it like feel like I'm wrap. at a baseball game or a basketball game? Kind of like that. These buns, I feel like the perfect you know glizzy hot dog. It has some. It's crisp. The bun is pretty crisp. This, no um, crispiness. Wasn't put in the oven or anything. It's just there. It's not doing much for me. It's above average, but it's not at great. Bro, did y'all ever have a friend whose parents were so cheap they had RC Cola all the time? Our mom. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Yikes, never mind. Our mom oh, only got right. off brand things going on off brand Oreos, RC off had, like, brand Lay's. Let's go to the subject. What's the best juice? Chris, you're Lemonade. massive juice drinker. There's so many. <laughs> Dude, which, I mean, which crayon bro, is it? I kind of, I kind of, I kind of change, bro. Like, cause before when I like growing up, Sunny D just smacked. But then, <laughs> is that even considered is that even juice? juice? <laughs> Dude, yeah, it, that's the thing. It's like, that's, and then there's like Hawaiian Punch. Dude, you know what's surprisingly good? V8 Hawaiian Splash. I can see it. Is it has sweet stuff in it? Yeah, bro. yeah, I can V8 see it. V8 Splash is actually pretty decent. But my favorite. 
my favorite like like super sugary juice drink like that hawaiian punch you can taste the fucking pure sugar in that i wish they made like a version of that that's like less sugar. for me i would say it's just a strawberry lemonade dude a raspberry lemonade lemonade with something else cherry limeade We got the Shake Shack here. This is already looking beautiful. The buns, I can already tell they're done right. Oh, toasted. This was definitely on the grill for a little bit. But what I love about it, look at this. They gave us toppings, relish, onions, ketchup, everything we need. Mm. Throw some onions on that bad boy right now. I always like putting a lot of onions on mine. Me too. That? The flavor is, is really there, but I don't know about the texture. It's like chewy in a weird way. The meat's like, it's all right. I like the Costco meat better, bro. I like the flavor of the Costco meat better, but I feel like this was cooked better. Interesting. I feel the opposite. Really? I feel like I this, feel like this one, overcooked. I feel like this I like one tastes it. better, but it is way overcooked. Toppings though, like they, it looks like they literally just cut these onions. Presentation is fire. The box, I'm feeling the box. I'm gonna go three on Prezi. I agree with that. I put a three on presentation. The meat weighs heavily in the overall taste of a hot dog. Oh my God. So I'm gonna have to keep it the same. We're An attack go of six. crows. Look at all those crows. Goddamn. Man, mm. if they all came for our glizzies right now. I'm, I think I'm gonna give that an eight. Like I thoroughly enjoyed this one. Dude, that Dude. was, I have such mixed feelings about that Who one. Who has a Like right. I almost want to take this relish to the other restaurants. Overall, very solid Shake Shack. Solid, they solid. never disappoint. They never, don't. never disappoint. The burgers, shakes. the glizzies, the shakes, hot diggity, the shacks. Once Corona's over, y'all, we gotta go on another road trip with the boys. Like, we gotta rent out a van. What up? Where are we going? I'm not even gonna lie. Good the other day, <laughs> I was really looking at pictures of redwood trees, and I truly didn't realize how fucking gigantic they are. Redwood. Yeah. They call redwoodies, dude. You could fit like. 30 of those things in the diameter. 30 of me. Growing up, y'all, what was your favorite go-to fast food spot? Bro, all right, I grew up a little bit, lived there in Tulsa, Oklahoma for a little bit, okay. and a go-to spot was called Brahms. Brahms? Brahms, it was like a burger joint, but with ice cream. Is it a fast food joint or like yeah, a little like, joint? Yeah, it was a, it was a drive through okay. But they were known for their ice cream, but they also served burgers and like these, uh, those crinkle fries, but like the thick ones, not the not Shake Shacks. They're they're bigger than that, a little softer, kind of cheaper. Is it weird that my go-to was Carl's Jr.? Oh, yeah. 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 I just feel kind of bad. <laughs> Got dog in the name, it better be good. Now, I wanna say this place had literally every topping possible like that you could ask for, but to keep it fair for the competition, you know, it's a higher end place. I just got the onions and ketchup. I wasn't sure what to get. Bro, the faces you guys are making is making me so excited to bite into this. Dude, I wish I wasn't so full. This is a blizzard. I like my hot dogs a little bit of snap when I bite into it. This one didn't have it, but the meat, it's still excellent. The bun. They use like Hawaiian bread for their buns. This is a five on the bun for me. Well, you know that snap is pig intestine? Yeah. Yeah. Pig intestine. Bro, I'm not really like... into the, the snap. Yeah. Hot dog. <laughs> yeah, dude. But I feel, like, I feel like, like a total weirdo now. <laughs> hey, when it comes to oh, I like that snap. his own. Did you gobble that one down, Gladiator? Yeah, that was amazing. Oh my god, he finished the whole thing. But wait, I, what the fuck? Wait, where did it go? In here. James. But I'm not giving the bun a five. <laughs> my god. For me, this is my favorite type of bun. The Hawaiian bread. Hawaiian Look at this, bread, and bro. on the top is perfectly, oh man. Boys, dog house, it's always a treat. I have to say they make, I know this is hot dogs, but they make one of the greatest burgers ever, too. That's facts, and chicken sandwiches. Yeah, they do it all. They're a great, great chain. And their shakes are fire. Are they a big chain? Are they everywhere? Uh, not everywhere, there's a couple. Yeah, I don't know. Bro, you know what's an awkward moment? Up. Putting a seatbelt on when your mate is sitting next to you. He's touching my butt the whole time. Dude. James. Pause. Yo. <laughs> Yo. Dude, have you guys noticed? We're on our way to Five Guys, right? I feel like Five Guys, from my experience doing these videos, they have some of the most aggressive fans. Like the Five Guy homers, they are just obsessed. Like they're very aggressive on Twitter towards me for no reason. Like any negativity uh, what, 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 towards five different guys, I they get like very five mad. Five Guys, Dude. like super fans and Celtic fans are one in the same. Yes. <laughs> I, I, I feel the same way. Like we like Five Guys. We think Five Guys is good. It almost always is a second or third place in these videos. But it ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't all that. Dude, it's just when people rave about Five Guys, it makes me hate Five Guys. Yes. Yes. It's just like Celtics <laughs> fans, like they're not a bad team, but they make me hate the Celtics. I don't feel about it.
The In and Out has some hardcore. In and Out is too. the literal definition of mid. That's not what doghouses drink size though. This is America. This is all. A I small think, should be. I need, bro. That's all I'm kind of mad about that. But I don't. I always had like, bro. When I would go to McDonald's, I would always say and Chick-fil-A half ice, bro, because they be say, filling that whole. Say easy ice. And bro. Starbucks. Five guys, you get an automatic zero for not being open. Pants and scheisen. They are close. Das ist scheiße. Zach, I don't even know what are you saying. Zach? That means that means this is shit. <laughs> James, give us some German. I know you've been to Germany. You ich bin trinke. Why did I not put Wiener Schnitzel on the best milkshakes when they got a Fruit Loop shake, Chris? I got you. I'm gonna get you a Fruit Loop shake. I know how no. much loves cereal. Dude, Chris loves no. cereal. Chris loves cereal. I will throw that in your I fucking mouth. All right, boys, the final glizzy here at Wiener Schnitzel. Dan, what, they threw hella mustard on this thing. Gotta add some ketchup. I gotta balance the forces. More of a ketchup kid than a mustard kid. My first Wiener Schnitzel ever. It's a lot of mustard. That should look like cheese. Bro, I just got punched in the face with mustard. I didn't like it. I love a nice coarse mustard or a Dijon mustard. I'm not a big fan of yellow mustard, but it's like a regular hot dog. It's like, they get out of a baseball game. Yeah. Um, I'm not really a fan. I feel like they gave us a bun full of mustard with a side of hot dog. I've noticed mean, in all these videos that the worst place, their their big issue is always way too much of the condiment. Too much sauce. Way too much of Usually you gotta have the right amount. Hot! Ah! Oh, it wasn't that bad. Did you get hit too? Something hit me. I did it, but... <laughs> Oh my god. Alright boys, the results are in for who makes the best glizzy. We only did four restaurants, unfortunately, this time, but coming in at fourth place is right over there, Wiener Schnitzel, with a score of 12 out of 28. Then, coming in in third place, Costco, with a score of 15. And then, first place is between Doghouse and Shake Shack. And the winner of who makes the best glizzy is, drum roll please, Doghouse with a score of 23.75 and Shake Shack had a score of 20.5. Let me know in the comments down below what food we should do next. And if you do have a comment of what food, put what restaurants you'd want to. If you want to see who has the best pizza, click right here. If you want to see who has the best burger, click right here. Make sure to go show some love to those videos. Shout out to the boys for coming through on this absolute journey with me. The links are down below in the description. I'll see y'all soon and peace.